Well, an Asheville man is facing charges tonight after his car struck and killed a woman walking on a city sidewalk. 66-year-old Virginia Senecal died yesterday afternoon on Kimberly Avenue. News 13's Frank Faboni joins us with more on who she was and how friends are reacting to the tragedy. Well, Darcel, this woman was part of the Audubon Society, and she, friends say that she was walking home from the Beaver Lake Bird Sanctuary when it happened. A bizarre tragedy on her routine stroll that suddenly took her life. Oh, I, I bet she clocked a thousand miles a year. Friends say walking was Virginia Senecal's passion. It's what she was doing when a car went off this curb on Kimberly Avenue and hit her Sunday afternoon. There's a woman who's been hit by a vehicle and she is she's very seriously injured. A frightened passerby made the call to 911. Is she breathing? If she's breathing, she has a pulse. <laughs> she's... I'm not entirely okay, sure, sir. I'm sorry on the way, okay? Neighbor Julia Noe, like Virginia, is retired and walks. Noe was afraid something like this might happen. I'm the one that has the sign. Uh, my good buddy gave me the sign uh, that's out there that says, slow down, we live here. That sign less than 100 feet from where she was struck and killed. A tragic loss for all who knew her. Her word was her bond. Uh, she was one of a kind. Just the nicest neighbor one could ever have. Senecal loved the outdoors and nature, spending a lot of her time here at the Beaver Lake Bird Sanctuary. She was just interested in nature and um, the, a really wonderful photographer. The president of the Elijah Mitchell Audubon Society got to know her through her photographs. When I first met her, she didn't know the birds. She would take the pictures and go home and figure them out. Pictures that shared her love for nature and her incredible gift that will be sorely missed. We're just all devastated. Uh, she was just a, just a really good person, a wonderful person. And yeah. Um, so we're going to miss her. Many of Virginia's pictures can be seen in the Elijah Mitchell Audubon Society's newsletters on their website. The driver that hit her, Maximilian Alexander, has been charged with operating a vehicle without insurance, reckless driving, and death by vehicle.